Hello brethren, how are you guys doing today? Welcome, my name is Bfat, and today we're doing a little unboxing. Today's unboxing is presented to you by Pun of the Day. Where do astronauts hang out? At the space bar. Keyboard. Keyboard jokes for the win. Anyways, this is the Kinbass XP, uh, no, VP X7, straight from Hong Kong. Got it from eBay for the 25 Canadian dollars. Uh, it is very authentic, as you can see, it's got all that Chinese writing. And, you know, it looks quite nice. And that's the what made me, like, led me to buy this. I thought it could be a nice gaming keyboard. It's the first one I bought. And, you know, it's uh, interesting. So we're just going to open it up here. But uh, it has a lot of cool... Well, not like a whole lot of features, but it's a very basic, but very nice gaming keyboard, I and mean, that's why I bought it. And it's very cheap, free shipping, straight from Hyong Hong. So it's uh, Kinbass is the brand. It's kind of not a very well known brand, I would say, but I don't know. I couldn't find much about them online. But there it is, guys. There's the keyboard. Just open the box up. It's got that nice blue color, which I really enjoy. My first uh, first idea of it, it looked quite nice, and the quality looked pretty good, surprisingly. I wasn't having too big of expectations for a $20 gaming keyboard, but there we go on the back there, we got some info, oops, that's upside down, BPAT, what are you doing? Anyways, it's got some stuff there, at least some of it's in English, that's nice. I, would, I thought it was all going to be in Chinese, but I think at least they have some uh, stuff for their North, North American market. There it is on a nice plastic wrap. The nice thing about it is that it ca actually came in a box, guys. Because a lot of stuff from like China and stuff, when you order it online, it just comes in bubble wrap. Which is unfortunate, but it was really nice how this thing came in a box. So I was pretty darn happy with that. And there we go, guys. There it is. It's got the nice blue color to it. It's a real nice blue. I got it also because it max uh, matches my computer, but we'll take a look at that later. So it's not wireless, it is wired, but it has a very nice look to it, guys. And I really enjoy that. The space key is has like a little, goes a little farther down. And oh, there's the back of it. Pretty standard, you know. I don't, and uh, though all those hose, holes on the back, I must mention, those are supposed to be drainage holes. So Kinbass does claim that this is waterproof. So maybe one day I'll dump it in a bath, and if it's not waterproof, I want my money back guys <laughs> no I'm just kidding but it is supposed to be pretty waterproof but I don't feel like testing that out if you guys want to test that out be my guest but I'm just testing out the keys here and they feel really nice like they aren't it isn't a mechanical keyboard because you can't really expect to get a mechanical keyboard for about 20 bucks but uh you know it's pretty good I think it's just silicone silicone keys something like that Anyways, here it is what it looks like all set up and in my room it's connected. As you can see the backlights on the bottom, they kind of fade out and that's what I really like about it. And then it also has a backlight up at the top where it says Kinbass VPX7, which is quite nice and it has all the keys, logic keys up at the top. And then what I should mention is the arrow keys, all the blue ones and WASD which are also blue are 10% larger. Because you know bigger is better, right? Am I right? Maybe not. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, they are 10% larger as well. They have a little knife engraving. But here's my computer. As you can see, I got the blue backlight on my computer as well. So it looks very nice after set being set up in my room. And I re I'm really enjoying it. Uh, it looks pretty nice, and it seems like the quality is pretty good. Only time will tell how the durability lasts. And I'll keep guys updated if anything happens with it, if it doesn't last long or something. I'm sure there'll be an annotation or something, because I will want my money back. Well, just kidding. But I'm just testing out the keys, and everything feels really nice. Like, for under 20 well, not under $20, but for under $25, guys, this is seems like a pretty damn good keyboard. 
because you know you got a good feel for gaming and stuff but you don't have to spend a whole lot of money caps lock works just testing out everything here and it matches my blue chair to boot now how awesome is that so I would say this is my first gaming keyboard I've ever had so I've only I'm, I can only compare it to like the economical keyboards or the ergonomical whatever it is I don't know but I would say and give it like a 7 out of 10 because I know that there are keyboards there that have backlights under all the keys which is quite nice but that's gonna be pretty much it guys thanks for checking it out and I'll see you guys later Control,